Hello, guys. I'm back. Uh, yep, that's right. I am back. Uh, welcome to DNA Anime Blog and DNA Studios, or DNA Studios' uh, YouTube channel, uh, as you guys might know. Uh, for those of you who are new, uh, new here and uh, just started watching this episode or may have just jumped into this, my name is A. Goldman, or Aaron. I am your host. And uh, this is DNA Studios, our YouTube channel. Uh, I'm one of the founders, <clears throat> excuse me, founders and creators, and also along with Dante Lewis, who is my best friend, who also is one of our founders and creators. And together, we do this YouTube channel as well as our blog page, DNA Anime Vlog. So anyway, uh, with that, um, let's get into this. So first thing, I do have a couple of announcements to make. Uh, one, I was sick last Wednesday, so if you hear me <coughs> do that, um, that is because I'm still getting uh, some disgusting stuff out of me, uh, so I apologize if I don't sound really great today. Don't worry, I'm fine. Uh, I did get over my cold. I just have a little stuffiness and a little bit of gunk still in me. Um, so that's why I did not upload uh, last Wednesday. Um, and also, I do want to announce that we, uh, if you guys didn't know, we do have a merch store and uh, we do have really cool shirts. Um, and actually, you know, I do have one here and also mugs. Um, we have really cool DNA shirts with our logo on them and on the, our logos on the back. And we do have these mugs also available on our merch store. And we actually just launched uh, hats. So we do have really cool DNA hats with, uh, with our logos on them, which I will actually show you guys. I will uh, get one and uh, have one in the studio to show you at some point in time. Uh, so keep a lookout for that. Uh, if you want to order some merch, I will leave a link underneath in the description. Uh, where you guys can click uh, on the link and grab some merchandise. That does help us out. And also uh, the merch is really nice quality, really good quality. We launched that and we also launched uh, tote bags. So if you guys are looking for a cool shopping bag or a cool tote bag or something like that um, to put stuff in, we also just launched uh, those. They're pretty nice and um, they're really awesome. They have it's just a black tote bag with their logo on it. Really cool, really awesome. So um, definitely, if you want to pick up some merch, uh, there's a link. There will be a link underneath the video, and you guys can uh, click on the link and grab some merch. It's really cool. It's pretty awesome merch. It's good quality. So yeah, grab yourself one of those. Um, and also the next thing that I also want to announce is that this video is an extras video. So um, if you're not familiar with the DNA Studios Extras, it is another series that we do on the YouTube channel where we, t where on this YouTube channel where we talk about uh, other stuff, other stuff besides anime. So sometimes there's a little bit of anime talk uh, in the extras. Other times there is other stuff. Um, this one, there will be some other things done besides, this one will be other stuff besides anime. That I will talk a little bit about anime, but there will be some other things in this video that is not anime related, uh, that has to do with films and movies. And then also, uh, this is also going to be a Thanksgiving episode. So because Thanksgiving is coming up, I will be talking about food anime, uh, like Food Wars and other things uh, in this video. So be prepared for that. Um, the main focus actually for this video today is going to be uh, Thanksgiving, but also a little bit of film talk. Um, so if you're a big film theory guy or you are someone who's watching who's being in the film, uh, this is going to be a cool one for you. Now, some of you might get a little pissed at me for this one, but um, and some of you might not be mad at me. Uh, depends. So this is purely on your personal opinion. Uh, I will be talking about my kind of opinion, but uh, my opinion as well, but... Um, you don't have to agree with me, and if you don't, uh, that's great. That's fine. Um, but today I am going to be talking about, like I said, Thanksgiving stuff and also some film stuff. So uh, so with that, let's get started. So the first thing I want to say is that if you're looking for a uh, Thanksgiving-themed anime, my recommendation, well, at least one of my recommendations, is Food Wars. And I know people are going to probably scream and yell at me for that and be like, but why Food Wars? Why would you recommend an a anime that's, that is disgusting and like nudity? And I said, because, well, so first thing is because it's Thanksgiving and they cook. It's a lot of cooking in Food Wars. So that they do cook Thanksgiving dinners and they do cook a lot of interesting food in uh, Food Wars, which is, part of the, which is part of Thanksgiving. And then also it's a food-based anime, which... 
if you're anyone who's watched a lot of anime, you know that, uh, that food in anime looks pretty ridiculously delicious, right? And there's a reason for that. It's because usually when you create, with the cooking is an art form. So usually when people create awesome dishes and, and cool things, it looks good. And so the animators wanted to express that in the actual food that they draw. So that's why your animation and in your anime food looks really good, uh, which I can understand that because when you see chefs making food, you're like, oh, wow, that looks fantastic. You're like, I almost don't want to eat it because <laughs> it looks so good. But um, so that's part of the reason. But also uh, because of Thanksgiving, uh, that is also the other reason I will be talking about. Uh, that's the other reason I would be recommending Food Wars. Some people think Food Wars is dirty. Other people think it is funny. I tend to err on the funny side because the... <clears throat> The tearing off the clothes thingy where you get you have a food gasm is what I call it. So um yeah, that 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 part of it is kind of hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> At least I think it's funny. Um so yeah. Sorry, coffee break. Um so yeah, that's part of what I'm gonna be talking about, but then the and and that's part of what my recommendation for your Thanksgiving anime. But a lot of other people have also said some people like to watch like Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z or One Piece because they do eat a lot in uh, those animes. Really, you can't go wrong technically. Like you, you could watch Dragon Ball since Goku and uh, a lot of the Dragon Ball characters eat a crap ton after uh, after a a good you know battle with Cell or a good battle with Boo or you know or a battle with Beerus or whatever the case may be. Um, you could watch a couple of those, which are also good. But for me, mostly w w during Thanksgiving, I'm usually watching stuff like. Uh, stuff like Food Wars just because it's a food-based anime. Now there are other ones out there too you can watch too. Like there's a lot of other shows where they eat a lot. Um, Zatch Bell actually used to eat, uh, they used to eat a lot too in Zatch Bell. So if you're not familiar with that anime, it's an old, and it's a 90s anime that uh, about a boy who gets gifted a little, this like little, it's, how can I put it? Think of him, he's, he's not a robot, but he's more like a, he's more like, almost like a no, not quite. Well, he's not quite a puppet, but he's like, it's this, this, this like little, almost like doll, right? Who is, <clears throat> who has a magic spell book with him and who battles and, fi and fights against other ones to kind of, to, uh, their, their goal is to, to, uh, to defeat the, you know, the bunch of bad guys and all kinds of stuff like that, right? And they, they, each time they, they battle, they get more powerful and stuff like that, right? So that's kind of the idea behind Zatch Bell. Um, if you're not familiar with the, with the anime, go look it up and go, um, go watch it. Really cool title and really older, uh, much older anime, but really awesome. Cool powers, cool, um, fight scenes and they do eat a lot. So, um, if you're looking for another anime to watch on Thanksgiving, that's kind of one where, um, they eat a crazy amount, um, and stuff like that. There's a lot of food in that one too. So yeah. Or the other thing, some people have, some people also will watch uh, Spice and Wolf since they do do a lot of food in that one as well. That's another good anime if you want to watch looking for something kind of Thanksgiving-y where they're going to eat a lot of food and stuff. Um, but for me, mostly, like I said, it's mostly going to be going to be, Food Wars uh, for the cooking and for the crazy looking food. Um, I guess you could you could also probably watch some zombie anime, but um, I don't know if you really want to watch zo much zombies eating somebody during uh, Thanksgiving. You might get a little sick from that one. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Um, so anyway. Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so um, yeah, with that, um, I am also going to be talking a little bit about film, like I said. So now this is kind of controversial because uh, for me, at least recently, I've been been I haven't really seen going be I haven't really been going to the theaters because of a lot of films these days seem just like they're they're cash grabs, um, which some people may or may not. Um, feel this way, uh, but the Marvel movies have kind of lost their their lost their their hype and kind of lost their way since they did away with you know Iron Man and all the all the main decent characters um, that I actually was interested in, and uh, a lot of the the other films by other studios have just felt like they've been just doing re live action remakes of stuff. So that's right. I'm looking at you. Um, 
mouse. Uh, and I'm not going to say the actual name because, you know, they might come after me. For copyright reasons, I'm not going to say the whole name. But yeah, that's right. I'm looking at you, the mouse. Um, they have been kind of doing a lot of remakes for animated films. Um, and that particular studio that is, that uh, just, I feel like, has been going downhill. Uh, and they just have been doing, I have no clue why they've been doing remakes of their animated stuff, which is kind of terrible. Not that I was a huge fan of them in the first place. I never really liked the mouse uh, as a kid. Um, and even now, really, as, a, as an adult, I think their, their, their films were kind of not great. I more prefer Studio Ghibli uh, and Miyazaki films over the mouse. But uh, yeah, um, so I just wanted to, to just talk a little bit about that. And that, for me, like a lot of things have lost their charm. So I haven't really, Marvel's kind of fallen to the wayside. Uh, Star Wars got destroyed for me. So I haven't really been watching too much of that stuff, um, the characters in Star Wars just kind of, they killed, they got rid of all the good characters that I really was interested in, and yeah, films have just been kind of crap lately, um, for me, actually, um, but let me know what you guys think, do you guys, do you guys have any, uh, any movies or any films that you guys are excited for, for Thanksgiving, uh, are you guys looking forward to any, uh, big, uh, productions, there is a lot of anime stuff that, that I, that I, I'm looking forward to looking forward to watching. There's a lot of good anime coming out. Um, uh, recently, there's been a lot of good shows coming out. Um, and a lot of good shows still out that are still going that uh, have not finished yet. So, Endless and Shadow is still going, and so is uh, so is Romy Kenshin and like a ton of other good ones. Um, I think Zom 100 is coming back, which is cool. So uh, they they should have more for Zom 100. That's a good one to watch if you're looking to watch a zombie anime. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of good anime. Now, when I talk about, when I say films are crap, I don't mean uh, anime films. I mean, like, just, you know, movie films. Like, so, like, live action films and also Marvel films and, and then anything by the mouse, which has been kind of just junk lately. Um, <clears throat> yeah, those kind of films have just, the stories have been just not great. Um, they've been just felt like they're just doing it to make money, not to actually entertain people or to tell a story. Which is like pretty bad if you are anyone who's big in film. Now you have to understand too that I am picky on films, and also uh, I like a good story. So uh, for me, if there's no plot and not a, or not a decent enough plot, and the characters are haphazard or just thrown together and no backstories, no kind of you know interesting plot twists or anything that like good into the story, I will just I will not watch it um, or. If it doesn't seem like it's worth my money to go to a theater to watch it, I will just not go. And I would just say, nope, I'm not going to watch it. Um, so that's me. That's my personal opinion. That's that's how I feel. Um, but you guys might be different. Um, so, yeah, if you feel differently or if you if there is something you guys are, are into that is you think might be good or you think might be worth checking out, um, please drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And... Uh, or if you feel the same way, uh, let me know. Let me drop a comment. Um, tell me what you guys think. Um, so anyway, so I haven't really been going to any movies or anything lately because of because of that. Um, now, in terms of anime, I am looking forward to a couple uh, uh, anime stuff. I'm still watching the new Roman Kenshin, and I'm still following Endless and Shadow and a couple other anime I've been keeping my eye on. I will have other videos on some of those. Uh, other ones coming up soon, uh, so I will be doing videos on those two as well. Um, those two as well uh, in the near future, so keep an eye out for those. Um, but yeah, also guys, uh, let me know what you guys are eating for Thanksgiving. Now, I personally am not planning to eat as much as Goku because I'll get sick if I do. Um, but uh, but I do. I am planning to. Uh, I am planning to actually uh, to actually have a small Thanksgiving feast uh, this. Uh, thanks you so i won't have anything big no crazy you know bunch of food out or, or no like crazy spread or anything like that but um i will have uh some uh a little bit of uh food for thanksgiving hopefully a small thanksgiving uh feast this year but let me know if are you guys having to have the whole huge table spread of stuff like goku and luffy or are you planning to do a smaller thanksgiving um let me know what you got what you guys have planned for thanksgiving and uh how your dinner was uh, your Thanksgiving feast was. Anyway, with that, guys, I hope you guys enjoys, enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what your thoughts on uh, movie studios 
and films are currently, are you excited for any films out now? Are you a Marvel fan or are you completely pissed with the MCU? Um, do you like anything that the mouse is doing or are you like me where you just kind of, you're just kind of, it's all trash and you just kind of hate it? Um, are you looking forward to any big anime films or new anime coming up, coming out um, for either the end of this year or next year? Let me know. Um, and with that, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope Peace. Hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Peace. See ya.